So today I'm out in the shop going to install a new spin-on oil filter adapter on this uh, 283 Chevrolet small block engine. This is a 1966 engine block and it requires an adapter if you're going to get away from the bolt-on canister and you're going to use a spin-on. So I bought this Transdap 1024 spin-on oil filter adapter and uh, notice that it's a three-quarter inch 16 uh, oil filter nipple so we're gonna do this so for ease of explanation I have the engine on the uh, engine stand and it's upside down here you can see the oil filter goes there the kit comes with some stickers and uh, these uh, items there's a they call it a three-hole gasket some quarter inch 20 um, bolts with an Allen screw, uh, the Allen head. To tighten it, uh, you need to have your own 3 16th inch Allen wrench. Comes with this nice flat rubber gasket, which goes on here. This tightens down around the nipple, and here's another part, I'm not sure what they call it. We'll follow the directions and see how it goes. So this is what would have been in the engine originally. It's bolted on with two bolts. This is the relief valve. In case there's a clogging of the oil filter, it allows in oil to flow. Those two bolts and this get removed. There's a couple of gaskets, and then you're ready to uh, clean it up. So since this is a dry run, I'm not actually going to use RTV, but I would use some uh, black RTV and stick the gasket on in the appropriate position. And then this goes on top and gets uh, bolted down with that 3 16 inch Allen wrench. Once that's bolted down, I forgot to mention, uh, use a little uh, thread lock on it. It's a good idea, medium thread lock. Make sure it doesn't somehow loosen. Then we're gonna put on the nipple, uh, threaded nipple, and then the, uh, the surface plate for the oil filter. You'll notice this nipple has um, <clears throat> some sort of boogered up threads about a third from the right side and that's on purpose so that it only threads on to um, this piece so far. So the this end goes on to here. So you tighten that down I guess uh, a little more than finger tight using some um, thread lock would be probably a good idea. Can't see that it would hurt because that's not a nipple that you want coming loose and, and uh, backing out of that piece. After you have the nipple uh, secured, you want to put on this plate with the gasket already installed. A little uh, black RTV around the edges of this probably would be a good idea. You'll notice that the rubber gasket sits a little proud on the flange of this piece, and I think that's so that when it compresses against uh, the, this surface, it will uh, sort of expand a little bit and uh, make a tighter seal. But again, I think an R, some RTV would be a, a good idea. It fits snugly. Uh, I wouldn't call it a press fit, but it doesn't wobble around. Next comes the nut. The nut that's supplied with the kit, I will uh, comment, is rather cheap. Uh, others have commented about it in the same way. It's just a, a piece of stamped steel with little uh, cut edges so that it threads on. Uh, it, it's not a very sturdy piece, and I could see that it could easily be damaged by uh, over-tightening. Uh, so I, I was searching in my shop for an alternative. A good alternative that occurred to me is that this Wix filter, which threads right on that nipple, is, has the same threads, uh, has a steel uh, surface here. So when I change this oil filter for a new one, and this one comes off, I'm gonna cut around this, this uh, and make a nut just the same size as this one, but it's made out of steel instead of this stamped piece of cheap stuff. And that will be my new nut for future use to hold this uh, piece in place. I think it's a, 
a more sturdy alternative to uh, this piece, but this is going to be for the first uh, run in with the, uh, this filter. So there the nut is spun down by hand, then I'm going to use a 27 millimeter socket, which fits over the nut perfectly to uh, tighten it. I'll tighten it uh, just till I, I feel like, I don't know, two fingers and a thumb and if it starts slipping then I, maybe that's tight enough. I, I wouldn't grip it and go hog wild on it. That should be uh, adequate. So now uh, with RTV around that rubber piece and uh, tightened down, I think we're good to go. Make sure this surface is uh, spotlessly clean because next comes the filter. I'm using a Wix uh, 51515 because it has the correct threads and it has an internal bypass, uh, so I've been told. Put a little oil on the uh, gasket so that it spins on smoothly and uh, spin that on. The directions from the Transdapt system say do not over tighten the filter. I usually hand tighten until I kind of go, yeah, it's going to take a pretty good amount of torque to get that pulled off again. And there you have it. Uh, I've got it installed. Well, I hope this video has been informative and hopefully helpful. That's all for now.